Yo, what's up, y'all? So, Trailer. Today, um, I haven't done a video like this in a while, but today we are going to be doing a water freeze test with the ZTE Maven 3. I don't even know if there's a regular water test on YouTube yet, but now there is. So, yeah, we're going to be doing it for 24 hours and see if it survives or not. My bet is that it will survive, but we're going to have to see. So, let's go and get into it. Alright, so the first step is keeping the screen actually on. Now, I assume it's gonna be dead by the time we get it out here in 24 hours and water and everything with the screen on, but I wanna see anyways. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with this at all. I haven't dropped this once. It's just been like basically the same condition from when I unboxed it. Just got fingerprints and all that. So we already know what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and just put it in here. We're gonna fill up a water. I'm gonna put it in a deep freezer. So let's put it in there. And we got our cold water right here, so let's just go ahead and pour it. Wait, hold on a second. What am I even doing? Why did I turn off the screen? Okay, let's go ahead and do it now. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour the water in there. There we go. It does not hurt at all to do this, by the way. I really don't know why. But now it's in water, and we're going to go ahead and just put it in the freezer real quick. So let me go ahead and take this camera off the tripod real quick. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so here we go. So I had to put like a salt box over here because there's like zero lighting over here in this area. But here's a deep freezer. Let's just go ahead and put it in there. And let's put it right there. Cool. And guys, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and see you at 24 hours. Right now it is 2.59. So I'm going to see you at 2.59 in 24 hours. So let's go ahead and do it. But all right, let's just go ahead and see what's up in here. And there it is. And there's the phone right at the bottom. You can kind of see the ZT logo. If I get close enough, yeah, you can barely see it. But let's go and get this thing melted already. Okay, so I'm in my laundry room because I don't know how else to really melt it other than just using this. So I'm going to go ahead and just run some hot water, I guess, and just like get this thing out of here and just wait. so close the phone is right there i can touch the screen i just can't get it out oh there we go the water's coming out there we go yeah oh my god the water's so hot but we got a block of zte right here we gotta get this thing out of here so we're gonna go ahead and just do this at three two one. Oh, there we go let's break it some more let's break it some more let's get it out of here and there we go we got the phone all right, y'all, so I'm back. So there's literally a piece of ice stuck in the charger port. So I don't know how we're going to do this right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just dry this off and all that. Because you can see here it is soaked. And I'll get back to y'all. I mean, seriously, look at this. It's like ice chunks everywhere in this phone. A few moments later. All right, so it's been maybe 20 minutes or something like that. And I am back. So we're going to go ahead and see if this thing will actually work. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn it on first. And if it doesn't turn on, I'm going to plug it in with that charger over there. That I don't care about. And this is really common sense, guys. Like, do not do this. Put your phone in rice or something like that if you get it wet. Don't just, like, plug it in like I am. Don't be stupid like me. But we're going to be stupid. So let's go ahead and see if this thing turns out. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, nothing showing. Okay, so let me go ahead and plug this in. I don't know if it's actually turned on or not, but let me go ahead and just plug this in right here. And apparently I suck at plugging in phones. Whoa, it actually turned on. I know I said that I thought it was going to turn on, but at, like at this point, I didn't think it was going to turn on, but it just did. Okay, that's kind of crazy. So yeah, the battery just like depleted. So it's going to like charge up and all that, but wow, I did not expect that. That is actually pretty crazy. Now, I don't know for long term, like I don't know if it's going to mess up or anything, but right now it's working. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. All right, so I'm back. So bad news. It doesn't look like it's working. So I think the screen is just like it's fried or something like that. So it doesn't look like there's any signs of the screen having some kind of water damage. But uh, overall, this phone is done for, guys. The buttons don't seem like they're working. On the back here, you can see the camera starting to get fogged up. And the sound on here sounds trash. But I'm going to get back to y'all on this. So just stay tuned for another video. And that was pretty much it. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.